Well, welcome back. And today is a completely different video than I do normally. And that's okay, because good things come in small packages. So anyways, um, today is a little bit about my experience at Guitar Center. And the story that I'm gonna tell you did happen. Um, it happened yesterday. And you know, it's terrible. So let's get on with it. Um, let's start the story with, we have sold our Focal Alpha 80s. And there's a reason why, because we have actually are in the process of ordering and getting a pair of PMC Result 6s, which will go in place of these Tannoys. There's a pair, you see one here, there's one there. You might not see the one in front of me here, but there's one here. Um, and we're just kind of, you know, trying to upgrade our sound. And, you know, the Focals were just too big for the space and literally too big for the space. And also they sounded too big for the space. So we've kind of put the Tannoys that are here just kind of as a placeholder to see what size speaker might fit there. We might use those for a little bit while we wait for the PMCs to get here. You never know. Anyways, um, not the point of today. On with the story. So we took our Focals to Guitar Center to see if we could see what kind of price we could get market wise. Um, and I do this a couple times. I do it through reverb. I'll check the reverb. I'll check like what they're selling them for online and I'll take them in the store and see what they're buying them back as, you know, kind of as like a poor man's market appraisal without having to pay for an actual appraisal. It's, it, it works for me. It doesn't work for everybody, but also gets me talking with other musicians that I meet in those stores and you know, it's just kind of like a hang. Anyways, but I was in there and I talked to the sales associate there and he's like, yeah, we could do a buyback. Let's, you know, or whatever. We'll see what we can give you for them. I'm like, perfect. Not telling them what exactly I was doing, but um, basically I ended up just telling, you know, just having them do the appraisal or whatever, price check. So he pulls up the thing. He says he can't find them. Well, I look on the screen and on his screen, it says guitar amplifiers, amplifiers and effects. And I'm like, well, this isn't a, this isn't an amplifier. It's a studio monitor. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, I don't know where I'd find that. I'm like, well, it's probably in Pro Audio. You guys have a little department called Pro Audio. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's in there. Okay, cool, yeah. So he, he eventually, I kind of help him walk through where to find these particular items, Pro Audio, studio monitors, they're active, you know, all that fun stuff that you find when you're like, well, he still can't find them. And I'm like, he's like, I, he can't find them, can't find them. So anyways, he, He's also helping people. So like half an hour goes by, you know, cause he's helping people, he's helping me, he's helping people. He's, you know, he's helping people check out. He's also waiting for the system to update, you know, kind of killing two birds with one stone while I'm standing there. Anyways, so, you know, I kind of, he kind of looks on their website, you know, and sees them on the website. Yeah, so they, they do sell them. They, they sell them for about, you know, 750 bucks or something like that. I'm like, oh, I see him there, and then, but he can't find him in the system. He still can't. So out, after this whole thing, half an hour goes by, and he, he's like, well, I'm not going to be able to do anything with help you with any of this. You know, I'm, you're going to have to find somebody else. I'm like, and I'm thinking somebody else in the store can help me, or just like somebody else overall. And he is just like, oh, just somebody else, and then he walks off. And I'm like, okay, well, thanks. I'll, I'll leave you. Yeah, I'll see you later. But basically this whole experience of trying to find out how much I should sell these speakers for, um, basically no one was able to help me there. And it put a really bad taste in my mouth for Guitar Center's establishment there. Now they may have other stores that do a lot better with this. They may have other associates that do a lot better. There is an associate there that I work with quite often when he's there, but with the new changes, he isn't there as much. So, um, oh well, life goes on. So basically, um, it's come to the point where I don't even wanna go in their stores anymore. And I'm not sure why people, you know, really do anymore. You know, they've got some cool stuff, but there's not really anybody to help you. There's not really anybody that knows anything about the product, which is a shame because it used to be, you know, when I first started going to Guitar Center many, many moons ago, um, they had people like that. They had a ton of people like that. Everybody was helpful. Not just like a select few, like everybody was pretty much helpful. And it's just changed dramatically over the last year. And, you know, I've heard all the things on YouTube and there's plenty of videos about them and the demise of Guitar Center and, you know, how they're hemorrhaging money and all this stuff that's on YouTube already. 
and on other people's channels. You can go watch them. There's some good informational stuff. There's some good, like, this is their market share and it's crashing or, you know, some stuff that's kind of informational and then some people are just like full up bashing them. But mine is all based off the experience I had last night. And honestly, I don't think I will ever go back there. If, if I have to buy something, I'm probably gonna order it through Sweetwater or I'm gonna go see if my local music around has it which I love the guys at Music Go Around. They're all, they're kind of like what Guitar Center used to be. They're all super helpful. They all know something. You know, they all are in bands and playing and, and you know, they all know something about the musical in stuff that's in their shop. Whereas like, it's, it's kind of like, you know, Guitar Center just hires Joe Blow off the street who knows absolutely nothing, you know. You know, my kids could go work at Guitar Center, but they'd probably be overqualified because they live in a recording studio. Video on that coming soon. Um, anyways, that's my experience with Guitar Center lately. And I hope um, this doesn't discourage anybody to go to Guitar Center. If you like Guitar Center, that's great. Go there, use, do whatever you got associate you like to work with. Great. Um, but yeah, it just it seems like they're getting worse, and they made it a lot worse experience for me. And I probably don't know if I'll go back for a while. I might take some time away from there. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. If you like our content, you like our videos, you like this video, hit the like button. If you like our other videos, hit the like button. We've got shorts, we've got all sorts of videos out there. For those who haven't hit the bell, hit the bell. It'll give you notifications when we um, have new stuff. And hopefully all this off the cuff stuff isn't too negative or anything. But you know, like I said, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Also watching, not washing.